everyone. I'm doing all my errands in one day. One day, okay. So today I got my oil changed. I was like 2,000 miles past due. It's been like 5,000. And they put a synthetic blend in. I don't know what that means because I've never put synthetic oil in my car. But he says it's like a blend. He says I can go either way. Well, that's kind of nice, I guess. And then I went to the doctor this morning and thank God I got the good lady to pull my blood. And I thought I was going to, you know, have to see the doctor. And they said, no, we just want you in for your blood. And I said, listen, I've been coming here for years and every time I come, you take my blood and then I talk to the doctor. You know, so their protocol has changed. The doctor seemed to be leaving there. I don't know what the problem is. So then I go and get my hair cut and the lady shows me the back of my hair with a mirror and I was mortified. I mean mortified when I saw what was going on with my hair. And I just had it professionally looked at four months ago and, and the lady never even mentioned it. I've got three different layers of colors, bands, they call it bands. So I don't, I don't, I don't have the time to get it professionally done or nor I do, I have the money. So then I went to the eye doctor. Now, because I had this growth coming up on this left eye and you know, my mother was was blind when she passed and I wanted to make sure I'm not you know neglecting my eye health so I told him I went to the eye doctor seven years ago and they said I had what surfers get I'm not pronouncing this right uh, it's it sounds like pink something like that I don't know it sounds Spanish so uh, and that is from not wearing good sunglasses. See, I've always just been buying, you know, the $10 pairs. Well, you should be buying the $30 pairs because if I, and I've been wearing sunglasses my whole life. So, you know, when you got this, when um, you go to the eye doctor and you see yellowing in your eyes, I'm an hour and a half early on the well, that's okay. I'm just going to sit in the lobby. So he said the the bumps that was on my eye is fat. Well, you know, I know I've gained a little weight, but I didn't know you could have fat eyeballs. Oh my God. Yeah, I got fat eyeballs. That's what he said it was. You can't win for losing. Turn off the car. Maybe, I don't know. It's actually 70 degrees here. Last week, my hands froze to the steering wheel. So I did a live a live thing last night. I just got in the mood. You gotta be in the mood. But then I did not know the lights were just blaring at you all. So thank goodness someone told me, you know, but we don't see what you all see on your end. So I have to wear my hair in a ponytail so nobody will laugh at me. I really want to go totally gray, but the growing out period is going to really disturb me. I guess, I don't know what women do. Do they wear scarves? Cause I'm gonna get two different colors. See, that's my, that's what my hair looks like, gray and black. <clears throat> because I gotta tone the hair, gotta bleach the roots, tone the hair. It's a six hour process. So, what I'm trying to tell you all is go buy some good sunglasses. Don't get the cheap ones because it will show up later in your life. Um, yeah. Yeah, I've always worn sunglasses. Even when I was a teenager, I always wore them at the racetrack. Then I would go and watch the drag races. So get the ones that's got all the protection. So over lunch, you like my necklace? I love it with this jacket. This is all Chico's. Over lunch, this guy goes, you need to accept it, honey. You're old. And no amount of 
work is going to make you look good and no one's going to want you and you only you think you got 20 years left you honey you only got 10 I mean that was the synopsis and I'm thinking so I responded to him I said listen I know I'm old us older girls, we don't need to be reminded, honey, because we see it every day. But if that's all that people are going to judge me by is my looks, you know, God help you. Because <clears throat> looks, everybody looks fades. Everybody, everybody gets old. And I believe you should be the best that you can be. Yeah, be the best that you can be. Just like now, I gotta put up with three three colors of hair. I got wrinkles, I got wrinkles everywhere. My God, I'm 64. My father had already passed when he was 67, you know? And other than, um, you know, my hip and my back failing, my doctor said I was the healthiest patient he's ever worked on. So I do have some good points, but I'm not looking for a guy. I could get a guy, anytime I wanted. It's not fitting in my lifestyle. I was married for four decades and I, uh, on the up and up, most of the marriage was wonderful and we're still friends, but I'm not looking for a man. I wish you all would quit thinking I am. Where do y'all get that? I do have two, two guys I fell in love with in the last 10 years and all I gotta do is make a phone call. If I wanna get lucky, yeah, I want to get lucky. So, yeah. Where do you guys think that all of us girls need a man? Because I don't know where men would come into my lifestyle now. I don't know. It's nice to have someone to talk to. But this is what the, this is what the doctor gave me. I don't know. Blink tears lubricating ah oh, see i need wetness in my eyeballs not only does this older girl's got to worry about getting dry in places now we got to worry about dry eyeballs and fat eyeballs oh my god ah how embarrassing so i t i told my doctor this morning when the lady drew my blood i said listen i have been um what is that word malaise malaise there's a word uh, to to describe how you're feeling. Well, that's how I'm feeling. Ever how you pronounce that word? Uh, I just, like when I drove here to Tappahannock, um, I could have fell asleep behind the wheel. Uh, I think there's prisoners. Is that, oh, it's not prisoners, it's a medical transportation. <laughs> used to being a deputy and seeing a lot of prisoners in a, in a van. So, what was I talking about? Oh, I said, listen, I don't feel good. I thought I was going to see a doctor today. I said, uh, I've gone through, I've been sick like for the whole month of November. I don't know if I've ever gotten over that. It's time for an antibiotic. And, um, so, yeah, I'm I, I asked to make another appointment. So they're going to see me at three because I'm an hour from my house. Oh, God. Hmm. But, yeah, I do all my chores. I went and got two new tops at Cato and, and, and a couple pairs of earrings. I've been giving a lot of my clothes away to anybody who wears my size, I guess. But I looked at my hair at the beauty salon and I wanted to cry. How embarrassing. But when I get home, I'm going to go to bed. Yeah. So I got dry skin from the retina A. And I've got dry eyeballs. So you will quit thinking that us ladies over 60 are yearning for anything most of us have got everything we want i got everything i want I tell you, men do take up a lot of time as, as well as women but yeah 
I would love to have a male friend. Anytime I want, I can call the two guys I've been invo involved with, you know, but my life is pretty full. I love my job. So, yeah, you all should have saw the back of my hair. But you all never see the back of my hair. You only see the front. But I have three bands of different colors. One is white, one's tan, and one's darker. All right. Bye, everyone.